Are you struggling with failed 3D prints? Upgrading your Ender 3's extruder gear can make all the difference. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Good morning, welcome to the Iron Horse Hobbies Print Shop. This is Brian, and that's right what today we're gonna be replacing our single gear extruder on our Ender 3D printer with a dual gear extruder on the Ender 3D printer. This is about a $12 part. All right, to start, if you have a stock Ender 3D printer, you most likely have a single gear extruder, and it is made of a hard plastic. Now, I have upgraded to the metal extruder, but I upgraded to the metal single gear extruder because I didn't know any better when I did so a couple years ago. So that's what we're going to save you some trouble. We're going to jump from the stock extruder up to the metal dual gear extruder because it's a lot better. It's only four more dollars. So what happens on your single gear plastic extruder that comes stock with the Ender 3 is it can develop a crack in here. Very hard to detect or even see this crack. Your prints will start failing and you don't know why. All right, a lot of times it has to do with a crack in here. All right, there's about an $8 single gear metal extruder gear replacement that you can put on there real easy and it fixes the problem and works a whole lot better. You're happy. But what you can do is you can get this metal extruder with dual gears, okay? So on the regular extruder, you've got a smooth wheel on one side and a cog on the other side with uh, grips and gears, okay? That grips the filament and pulls it into the uh, Bowden tube. And so what you do with the dual gear extruder is you've got the cogs and the grips on both sides, so you get a better grip on the filament and it pushes it through more cleanly. It's very important and it's very helpful when you're dealing with a Bowden tube. So my suggestion is you need to go ahead and get the dual gear metal extruder. It's $12 from Amazon. You get this whole little package. It comes with a new Bowden tube and some springs and all that other stuff. So what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to show you how we replace our single gear extruder with the dual gear extruder and we're going to get to work right now. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to remove this first and then we'll open up and go through the kit, but we're going to get this old one out of our way to reduce confusion first. I'm going to put some cords down here. And so I'll show you better when we get it off, but as I mentioned, you got a gear on this side and a smooth wheel on this side, all right? And so we're going to go and we're going to put one in that has a gear on both sides to grab that filament better and push it through. If you have a plastic one, it probably cracked right in here and you might not even realize it. So if you're having problems printing right now and you think it might be your extruder, come look right here and see if you got a crack. If you got a crack, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Haha. <laughs> All right, so let's get this off. First thing you want to do is, is let's make sure we don't lose this blue clip because if you don't have extras, that can cause you big troubles too. We're going to unscrew this off and just kind of try to get this all out of our way as best as possible. You're only going to need two tools for this uh, job. Not the very, very smallest. hex key but the next and then the next so they give you six hex keys with the ender three and this is number two and three if one is the smallest the very the second one to small the second to smallest just goes right here to remove this and so you want to pull this guy all the way out I'd hold on to this, but the new extruder uses a different size screw right there. Alright, that's the second one. This is the third one. Second one goes here and here too, but I'm going to go ahead and get this bigger one that's up here against this rod. So let's take this off.
don't lose that I believe the kit comes with one but that's important too there's a little piece a lot of little pieces on here that seem like they wouldn't matter that do See, here's your smooth wheel. You got your geared cog here and a smooth spinning wheel here. We're going to replace this one when we're going to have a cog on this side too. And then that's going to help get your filament pushed through better. Now we'll go back to number two. And what you want to do is be wary here because this motor will drop. So we're going to loosen and not take out. We're going to loosen everything and then we're going to hold at the end. Hold. And I was wrong. We're going to need the very smallest one, too, I think, to get the cog off of this motor. All right, we're coming all the way out now. What I'm going to do is remove all these old pieces. To reduce any confusion. <laughs> Don't want to have an extra screw and not know why. Let's get all the pieces that belong to this extruder, whether yours is plastic or metal, and let's get it out of our way. <clears throat> now we'll open the new kit. Okay. Here's your new Bowden tube, which is not a bad idea if you have the stock Bowden tube on there let's go ahead and change that now to this um, I'll do a video on that soon too and uh, here's your extruder you got some other goodies in your bag here um, that are not applicable to this build important to replace these if you have extras when you replace them both to check your springs make sure they're good <clears throat> we're gonna take everything not associated with this build and we're gonna move it off the deck it is I'm not accustomed to the spring for the extruder being that large but okay well, let's see what we've got here coupler to replace this one so we're going to be snipping
to like we are going to have to remove this so I'm gonna go get the smallest Allen if you find that it's uh, stripping Use the other side. Most of the time that'll work. Alright. Let's get this out of here. First thing I'm going to do is replace the piece that I put on here. And that's with this guy right here. Alright. It's going to go down and your filament is going to line up in this little groove right here so what I do is we're gonna have to loosen but not all the way out it's just one of them motor back in. Got a flat screw of the four that match. Let's put the flat one in the recessed hole. Which is now. Get your piece in to hold the spring. up and screw it down snug but not over tight Alright, 
There we go. different size here so you're gonna have to change it give us a new clip Push in, insert all the way. And install your clip. And that's how you replace your old stock Ender 3 extruder with a metal dual gear extruder. You're gonna find that you get some really clean prints. Thank you for joining us. If you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends. Thank you for joining us today. Check back in soon for another video. We're going to come back in soon, and we're going to be changing the hot end out, the whole hot end out, as well as doing a video on how to change the Bowden tube. Thank you very much for joining us.